Uh, I'll run you here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bonicle review, and today it is on Axon and Ernak from 2006. So we'll start off with the booklet for Axon, which since it's the only entry for that. The Bonicle logo, bonicle.com, interesting logo there, and Lego logo, and picture of Axon there. And on the back is add for some couple of the video games and the uh, Web of Shadows movie and also the website and then add for uh, Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club add for Vizon Fenrak coming August 2006 and add for all the frock sets and their little slogan the gang is on the loops then add for Butaka and then add for the combination model they make Botar. Also, you can combine them with a uh, Vizon and Fenrak and make Vizon and Cardus. Then all the pieces included and the final steps. So first off with uh, Ernak here. Is that so for his legs of which lower legs just the same as uh, Thox and but with shorter uh, uh, connectors with Vizox armor and but also the longer limbs to act as uh, stabilizers but he was just testing there for that since of course as you'll see with Axon you'll see the piston thing introduced in the yeah. but the torso which the same as the other Paracas but it's double-sided to like has some space to hold Xamar spheres in and with Vizox clawed feet off to there and these uh, golden tubes which didn't come with any of the three Paraka sets and the three Paraka sets to make him are to that of Vizoc, Thok, and Redak of course and that's the limbs which are Vizox uh, limbs or lower legs and of which two headpieces and also the gold Xamarsphere launcher from Redak, of course. Then the other armor, which plenty of Redak's uh, parts being his lower legs and feet, and they of which are holding some more of their Xamarsphere's in. And the head, or the neck of which, like triple jointed, but can't move it much. But as for the special spine, which is Thox spine in gold, and those have the regular light up feature of all the rest of the Paraka, and the teeth also do glow in the dark as well. But unlike the other Parakas, where the lower part would connect on to the butt part, but because it's hard by high far up, it doesn't do so. But the back parts of which can or the back parts so which connect to the back rather than on to the arms of course so he at least he was a kind of special version of the paraka but although in one of the comics of which it has some special paraka character which wasn't a set or anything but also the back legs asymmetric since they just may do with it of course and yeah so for axon which is little thing to note is mine of which is a little bit incomplete so missing a few pieces but I'm sure that but kind of the way it goes with other people's reviews sometimes so his feet of which are like big large bulky kind of feet with you know Hordika feet and the slicer throwback feet on the sides and on blocky limbs and then those special connectors that were introduced with Kreka and Adiki, but still reintroduced here. And also what the 2006 Titan sets are quite known for and memorable for are these little pistons. Is that help with the good stabilization, which carried on for many more years into the future. Actually, until first series of Hero Factory, but also on his legs have a pair of the uh, Viserac feet pieces. And his torso, which just a Paraka torso with some special bits added to it, 
it's supposed to have this little one of these bendy pieces but that holds the armor in of course and makes it go like that which is Toa Nuva uh, chest plate and shoulder guards as a whole armor plate and for his mask which and the titan sets were the only sets to still use the uh, metro heads of course and for his mask which was used a lot in the play sets which kind of interesting with a large fin on it and for the upper arms of which still kind of custom done with the hordika uh, feet on the sides and also metru armor to the sides and also blocky limbs but put in the forwards position which puts it at 90 degree angle kind of horrible and leading down to the big large hands so he was one of the first to introduce movable hands which carried on to hydraxon in 2007 of course and comprised of many uh metrumatorian in pieces all the way making him kind of chunky of course but as for his axe of which It's a long rod with a pair of uh, Rakshi staff pieces and also these big large axe blades which also used in the play sets and some other uh, system sets at the time but even used as a Vizox or Vizon's shield in the Vizon and Cardass set of course although you can also use that as an axe as well of course So, for the overall verdict, overall, I think these of which were pretty neat sets for the time. At least Ernak, quite interesting and a little outstanding than the rest of the Paraka and Axon, kind of a cool for that. Well, even though you can, some might say that Utaka might be, might have been a little bit cooler, but as, but as for the pistons and that are in the back of the links kind of effect, well, which good part for them, since of course carried on to many other sets yet to come. And of course, Ernak, but interesting or cool gold spine piece, but which you can definitely use for mocks and stuff. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well. I have had some good memories of them, and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is about it with this video, and thanks for watching.